Sarah, we knew this was going to be a really hard back-to-back -back, yeah. you know, at Toronto, young, athletic, feisty team that's playing well. Chicago team that's reinvigorated with new acquisitions, a lot of talent, and also a lot of athleticism. Nets hung around for a while in this game, but in the fourth quarter, they just looked like they ran out of gas. And, and when you run out of gas against a really good team, that's what happens. Yeah, fatigue set in. I also think this was a really motivated Chicago team playing here at home. They had lost their last two games, three of the last five. They were trying to get their rhythm back. And as you mentioned, they just had a great amount of athleticism and attack-mindedness on the defensive end and offensive end. And they got their points in a variety of ways. They didn't shoot the ball necessarily that well, but they got into the paint with such ease against this Nets defense. They created points off turnovers. They got second chance points. They got themselves to the free throw line. It, it, for all of those reasons, it felt like Brooklyn, they had the edge early on and then they really never could hold a grasp onto it. Uh, so some good signs, I think we saw, of the competitive nature of Brooklyn coming back in the second half to back. But overall, there was just a lot of shots and a lot of missed stops that couldn't go down to really close things out as they headed into that second half. All right, rest of the road trip. Opponents that have struggled to begin this season with Orlando, New Orleans, Oklahoma City. Starts with the Magic. What do you look for from the Nets in the next game? It'll be now the fourth game of the six-game road trip. Well, I think you're up against an Orlando team that's young, and we say this a lot, but it is worth repeating that every team is going to come out and give their best against Brooklyn. I think we saw that in the Bulls, but we've seen it throughout the course of the early part of the season. Playing the Nets, playing Kevin Durant, playing James Harden, that means something to teams, and especially, I think, for a Magic team that is young, and they're going to come with a level of grittiness. So the Nets need to match that, and I think... There's such a nice chemistry that we've seen develop with this Brooklyn squad, especially throughout the course of the last five wins prior to this loss. You want to see them get back to that. The type of ball movement, the body movement, the cutting actions continue to get that fluidity on the offensive end. It starts defensively. They can put that into effect against Orlando, but it starts with setting the tone early.